Thanks for checking in as we take a look at your extreme weather outlook. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson. Well, that heavy rain in Florida and the southeast will begin to fade a little bit today. We're still expecting some spotty showers and storms and locally heavy rainfall abounds. But the spotty severe threat will also continue along the front range of the Rockies, the northern Rockies. And we're also talking about some snowfall here in this early June out west. All right, Tampa starting to dry out a little bit. Here is the view from early Thursday morning. Showers and thunderstorms may still be possible, but generally over the central and southern portions of the state, but that looks to continue over the next few days. So through Sunday morning, some spots still looking at some one to nearly two or three inch rainfall tallies. Again, good news for the drought conditions in Florida, which will be improving with all the rain that we've had as of late, just some general thunderstorms there. But today uh, we do expect to see those uh, thunderstorms turn a little bit on the strong side of the northern portions of uh, the Rockies here, the Front Range, and then even into the upper Midwest. This is where we have a large uh, hail and damaging wind threat, which again takes us into the afternoon and evening. By Friday, the threat shifts more into uh, portions of the Midwest and then even into the upper Mississippi Valley by Saturday. This is all going to be on the leading edge of this pretty big storm system. Can showers and storms be breaking out in that particular area? But as this area of low pressure works inland, the moisture and the cold air associated with that could lead to some snowfall in the highest elevations. And over the next five days, maybe some 6 to 12 plus inch tallies in the highest elevations. On the leading in edge of that, we actually do have some critical fire weather conditions, a lot of red flag warnings and fire weather watches for the southwest. Temperatures today still pretty warm, but as that area of low pressure works inland, we're going to see temperatures drop here. It'll be a much cooler uh, week next week as this, again, area of low pressure pushes east. It'll actually take this warm air and shove it east. So by Monday, you can see how much warmer it is in the northeast, and we're gearing up uh, for some very warm air. Today's still a little bit cool, but by Monday, we'll be well above average and feeling more like summer.